Hey, welcome to OMG Let's Talk. We're talking about 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After. Season what? Episode what? Season 8, Episode 6. We're talking about <laughs> Sophie and Rob. No, I don't hate you. Oh, I, you don't know. I was like, you hate me right now? And he's like, yeah, I, I do. And I was like, oh, shit. It's like, you do? It was just so out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> Sophie and Rob are living together again. So, are you like, happy? <laughs> Not I really. Yeah, it's so know. awkward, honestly. After Rob and I talked I things know. out on the bridge, we all the L Yeah. That's your ring. The one you lost. Why is it in cheese? I wanted Why to make it. it I wanted cheese? to make it. Uh... Rob is so He's rude. really not the romantic type, right? <laughs> like he doesn't know how to do cute things. Even less romantic at all. is that Sophie explains. He's like, wait, I don't like cheese. Like, why would he put it in cheese? It's, it's, it's not cool, dude. She doesn't even want to touch it. But what's the whole thing about this? She's like, this isn't even my ring. How? What do you think happened there? Um. Yeah. Well, she probably had a bunch of like um, fashion rings is what she was saying, like a lot of similar rings that look like that. And she was I think she was just kind of being dumb because at the end she was like, oh, I think it is my ring. I, I think she should know, though, because it seemed like it wasn't the ring. Rob thought that was the ring that she left behind. <laughs> and then she's like, this isn't the ring. Not. And she doesn't want to admit that <laughs> she lost the real ring. And Rob doesn't want to buy a new oh. one. So they're both staying quiet and they're just. But who knows what's going on with the ring situation. I said the same thing. It could go either way. It could be one way or another. It could be the ring. It it's could, just like, nobody speaking up that is not making it, leaving it an open-ended story. Because Rob's like, I'm not going to buy another on. ring. And... It's very nice. Like, don't even talk about it. This isn't even the ring. It is the ring. No, it's not. Oh, my God. Is it a... I That's think she not. would know. It's not the ring, though. That's what I would think. And Rob probably never paid attention. It's like, well, this is the ring that she left behind, so... I think it... I just have a lot of these, like, little... Yeah. Did he see the drawer and that he pulled just... it out of, though? Yeah, go yeah, back to that. Yeah, what drawer was that? Just some junk drawer? It looks I like think a drawer it might have been, rings. like, her junk drawer rings, like... How many rings are in there? Look at it! Alright, it might just be ring-shaped junk. But, but it looks like a drawer no, of rings. It is. What the fuck? That's obviously not her it's wedding ring in that. Too? I don't know. Go ahead and use that. Use that. That's not, that does not look like a wow. wedding ring. I don't know. It's, it's not even sparkling. I think See, I, remember I remember her, her band being, being gold. Too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Her engagement ring was big, and I remember I could have sworn the bands were gold too on top of it. So then I think I'm right. I think she does, doesn't want to speak up because she doesn't want to admit that she lost the ring. Rob doesn't want to speak up because he doesn't want to buy a new ring. So they're going to just make that the ring. That's super annoying because that's such a meaningful thing. Like the ring that you got married with and you it just lost it. It just goes to show what type of relationship that Rob and Sophie have, to be honest. Yeah. You know how Rob's been missing uh, the the mom for the, his tarantulas. What a what a weirdo with his tarantulas, and it's kind of sad because he keeps them in like the smallest box, like they don't move at all. I feel bad for them. <laughs> Actually, you're good. I'm not sure about their how it's supposed to be. Honestly, you're supposed to keep them like they're, that. They're That's... tiny. No, you're not. Not their whole life, but they're babies. That's why they're so tiny, though. They are babies. <gasps> So you do actually do kind of want to keep them in a smaller environment because you want it to be warm, somewhat moist. Like my aunt. Yeah, she, I guess she kind of has a small one, too. Huh? Well, she has medium ones for it depends on the age, but she also has smaller ones like they prefer it. They like to burrow. So that's why they're as long as they're deep with the little like meshing thing. That's what they like to do. They like to burrow. They it's barely like to like move. Velvet. Especially babies. So they're not like other pets that like to like move around. They kind of just like to. You get stay a bigger. In one spot. See, that's why it's so deep, so they can burrow. That's what they love mm. to do. But when it does, like eventually, like after maybe a year or two, like he said, they live up to twenty to twenty five years. We had tarantulas growing up, and we had one live like way longer than that. I could have sworn it was like they're like 
maybe no, nah, maybe twenty years, but it was there like for most of my life. So, so you touched be about them, Marley. Are they furry? Yeah, they're they furry. are. What Do they it, feel what, like velvet? What does it feel? They are furry, and it's like a soft furry. It's not like a hard furry. It is nice. <laughs> Like a pug cheek Ugh. or a pug ear? No, not like that. Like a, like a velvet that you'd feel on clothes, but like less like condensed. It's weird. Hmm. Yeah. Did you expect me to touch it? She did it though. Never. Yeah, she did. She did. But he has six. Remember their stupid name? Swagger, Venom, like so typical. Venom is a cool name. That one was okay, but Swagger, like a whole one. But yeah, Swagger. What what kind of pet name is that? Yeah, it's dumb. Nobody says Swagger. You say Swag. Stupid. But they're having a good time. Yeah, everything seems good at the house until Ro or so. Wait, wait, you forgot roommate. a huge part. Actually, oh, back. hold on. I know it wasn't in there, but I just remembered. He does something pretty big after she pets a tarantula, like she proves something to him. Y'all remember? Um, that feels right. Good yeah. That you're being here. One more thing that I can so now do. That um, Oh, here we go. Is this it? Oh, what Rob does. Here yeah. we go. He's so yeah, stupid. He's boring. so like dramatic. Like I feel like he should be in a Korean drama. The way that he expresses his feeling, how he goes about shit. It's all <laughs> done poor timing and bad, but at least he's doing the moves. They are. They seem like they're trying to work it out. At least. If you notice this up here, we I think they're just both really ring. bad at being in a relationship. Been, um, waiting for this to be. A little more real. Fuck that. Fuck that. Okay, since you're home, let me put the you ring should have kept on. that ring on, Rob. For real. If he's trying to bring like a fucking huge point of like marriage is important, rings are important. Why did he take yours off? Well, in the other episode, he explained that he felt stupid that his wife wasn't even with him and he was wearing the ring. That's what he said. I'm just saying. No. Be a, I know. Be a strong man and show like I love her no matter what. Yeah. Finally. Yes. Yeah. You married her. Yeah. Finally. 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 Everything's going good. Things and then, are not good. <laughs> then yes. this bitch shows back up. Okay. So, like, uh, are you all having sex yet? <laughs> Why are they all? It's like, it's, it's like. Well, it's like Why are all no, friends and instigators you know, on the show? Yeah, she's hanging out with Kay and Kay's like, hey, how are things going? How's everything? Like, I guess Sophie has talked to her about them not having sex, right? For her to even bring up this conversation. You must have, yeah. Yeah. So apparently they haven't had sex in over six months. Six months, yeah. Wait. That's a lot. Yeah. Nothing happens here. She goes into a long speech in her interview. But yeah, six months, and they've been married for a year, so not really good. Well, she, she uh, Sophie does also bring up that Rob kind of wants her to dress up or like put a costume on for him to get turned on, and Sophie's just kind of not about that. So she's like, no, and she doesn't want to initiate because she still kind of has a lot of feelings about the online dating. So she's not initiating. Rob is not initiating, so it's all bad. Yeah, she also is like, yeah, maybe he just watches too much porn or something like that. That's something I said. Oh, that was you. <laughs> so maybe he just watches too much porn. He's it's used like to a, all the. You know, it's a true study that like guys who watch too much porn think like <clears throat> when they watch porn that's how sex should be. So then they're just thinking that's like normal. Mm -hmm. It's like overly produced so sex. Something's wrong <laughs> with, our pie. with him downstairs. That's all I gotta say. How did you end up with this man again? <laughs> And she said the sex was normal for the first few months, so she was confused why it switched, and she swears that, yeah, because she's, he's, he's so many me, other yeah, women. Because That's valid. If he was attracted to me fully, why look at other women when you have, like, I, mean, I can't deny on that one. That's valid. Yeah. Six Got months it. is a lot, guys. That's, that's a long time. Lot. I don't know. Yeah, that's like, a long time. When she said months, I was like, so, like, maybe I was thinking two, three, two, to three. Two. Like, oh, that's bad. And that's then bad. And she's like, thick. Yeah. Like, I get you guys have been fighting, but, you uh, you know, things are good now, but you guys still haven't had sex. Mm -hmm. Just like Kay's weird. friend, though, I guess if I wouldn't know they wouldn't have sex, I guess I would have asked because, like, the number one thing I'm making up, like, she just moved in. That's true. Like, so did you guys bang? Fighters. Oh, like, yeah, I know. 
Not, not then Cage is obviously fishing for a relationship. It's like, so you ever think about sleeping with like, girls? Oh, for sure. Yeah. A couple times I fucked up with women 100%. when I was like a lot younger. She lied. I feel like she's lying okay. now about this because she got so much shit for the last season of when she said that she was bi and never hooked up with a woman because that's what she told Rob. And now she's getting called out on the internet and she has to come onto the show and she's like, well, I have. I've done it. When I was really young, <laughs> we're like, okay, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm Rob so tired know. of Sophie being like, oh, I used to do that when I was young, so it doesn't really like count or whatever. That's why I haven't told Rob. Mm -hmm. All these little secrets that she keeps hiding and Rob's going to find out eventually and we already know what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, sounds like I want to go be with like women now, you know? My My main thing is like I want to be with Rob, but... She wants to be with Rob. Kay no. says go to therapy. And she's like, Rob needs to go to therapy. She's like, no, y'all both need to go. No, she said the whole world needs to go to therapy. <laughs> I'm not sure it was funny. I agree that they both need therapy. Like, Sophie needs it just as much. She's just as bad at not being able to communicate effectively mm -hmm. and, like, her denying therapy is a big red flag for me. Yeah, for sure. Especially her stating that she's so in the relationship and wants to be with Rob. If that's the case, then go to therapy with Rob. Like, you got to go talk to an Couple outside therapy. source. Yeah. Do it. We'll see where it goes. That's it for them. Thanks for watching, guys. Check in with us next week. See where they're at. See yeah. if she's a full lesbian yet. Yeah. Okay. It's K. Thanks, guys. Like, subscribe. Yes. All of that. Thank you.